What's going on YouTube? Dylan from Redline here. Today we are going to be talking about budget suspension. This is my 2013 Audi S4. I am sitting on 19 inch factory peeler wheels and solo work S1 coilovers. As you can see, the car is sitting pretty low to the ground. There's almost no wheel gap to be accounted for. Pretty decent fitment. In this video, I'm going to be doing some back road ripping of the car and driving some city streets so you can see how it rides and get a feel for the coilovers and see if maybe they're for you. Now, if you're familiar with Northeast Ohio at all, you know our roads are pretty atrocious. So this will definitely be a good test for these coilovers, see how they hold up on different roads and environments. So I've had these coilovers for about 6,000 miles, which is a few months of driving for me personally. They were actually recommended to me by a friend of mine. Uh, he's an Audi tech at Cascade Audi. Shout out Casey, he's got a big turbo A4, which I will be dropping a review on as soon as it's done. So shout out Casey, but he has had the coilovers on his A4 for about, I believe he said four years. And I was blown away riding in his car. I was stuck between going with lowering springs or some other cheap coilovers until maybe I got better ones, who knows. But his car definitely took the cake for me and it rode amazing. So here I am now with some solo work S1 coilovers. Uh, as I said before, this is a 2013 Audi S4. And the kit is only about $500 is very cheap so let's hop in and go rip some back roads now this is taking place in the back roads of mexico city i do have stabilization off in the camera as well so you can get a feel for how the bumps are how they're hitting the car so right off the bat you start to notice definitely a firmer feel you're playing it to the ground more which ultimately is a good feeling very planted around corners. There's almost no body roll anymore. Prior to installing these coilovers, um, the S4 was a pretty good handling car as it was, especially for its size. Uh, this car weighs about 3,800 pounds, I believe. And for stock OEM springs and everything and struts, it was a very well-performing suspension. It felt decently planted um, before the coilovers, but there was definitely body roll. And to be honest, big bumps but to be honest the ride quality was not what you would expect uh, in terms of ride quality there was something to be that was definitely left on the table from the factory i feel like these coilovers honestly ride better than stock which is kind of funny because typically when you think coilovers you think super firm suspension that anytime you hit a bump you're gonna go jumping all over the place all crazy but not with these i was very surprised especially with it being a cheap coilover as we all know, Racelands and stuff like that can be quite the springy ride. Let's see if we can get any body roll at all. Pretty planted. Very planted. From what I understand, uh, these coilovers were made from more of a practicality standpoint and looks rather than it's not a full track orientation coilover. Um, which is good and bad. You don't have the dampening adjustment ability, which kind of sucks. So you can, basically what that is, you can make a coilover ride firmer or softer and how much give it has. This does not have that. You are able to obviously adjust the ride height. This has very good height adjustment. I believe you can lower your car up to three inches and the minimum is about an inch, which is really good, nice ride height on this car. The coilovers, they just, they eliminate just about all body roll in the car like i have the utmost confidence in this car especially handling now i was very surprised i've noticed plenty of other people mentioned that these uh coilovers are girlfriend or wife approved i can attest to that my girlfriend says that this car rides nice and she doesn't hate it you know a lot of your females out there don't like rough rides 
these are the coilovers for you. And as you previously saw, my car is pretty low. So if it's gonna ride bad, it'd ride bad like this. I'm almost to the floor. I'm just to the point where it's still practical though. Or maybe not. <laughs> Right, it's just planted, planted to the ground. Almost no body. I just can't get over it. I've had these coilovers for about 6,000 miles and it still surprises me how good they are on these back roads with handling, especially not being a performance oriented coilover. Like I said before, they're more of the practical, cheap, budget coilover, more so for looks rather than being track oriented, but Man, I'll tell you, they handle like nobody's business. Now, going off what I previously said about the lack of adjustability in the dampening, um, these coilovers come from the factory pre-adjusted for your uh, specific make and model. So like the S4 ones were made for an S4, obviously, and they tune them to the spec that an S4 would need for the best possible ride and performance. I'm not sure there's a better coilover on the market, to be honest with you. Especially at this price point, $500 is as cheap as it's gonna get for a good coilover. Here's some bumps. See how that just handles them, handles the bumps perfectly. Our Northeast Ohio roads are very, very bad. I go to school in Akron. Uh, some of you know, some of my viewers even go there. It's it's rough, especially in a lowered car, it's bad. But these coilovers just make it seem like an OEM ride, if not better. There is a little bit of bounce, nothing too crazy. It's not like any cheap coilover that's bottomed out. Um, in terms of firmness, they're not super stiff. They're not overly stiff. Like I've ridden in people's cars with say BCs, uh, now BCs are adjustable, but even at like the halfway point, there's still a pretty stiff coilover. And I personally don't like how they ride. I've had them in one of my past Miatas. I, I'm just not really a fan of them. And it's, it's crazy to say this, but these $500 coilovers, other than not having adjustable dampening, may or may not blow those out of the water in terms of comfort and performance both it's such a comfortable ride daily driving is not an issue i don't know if i previously said it but this is my daily driver um i have no issue daily driving it they have the spring rate on these coilovers dialed in just about perfect i honestly don't have too many complaints in terms of performance uh when i initially bought them i didn't think they were going to handle all too well especially because that's not really what they're marketed towards I was expecting lackluster handling, tons of body roll, but I was still going with them because how good they rode. When I was in Casey's car, like I said, they blew me away. Now we weren't beating the crap out of his car on back roads, doing windy roads or anything, but that's not really what I wanted anyways. This is my daily driver, um, but it does handle the back roads. But I bought these solely because of the comfort that I felt. They were better than any other coilover that I've really ridden. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why not just get lowering springs or what's another alternative or another cheap coilover? Well, to be honest, lowering springs, not a fan. Uh, a buddy of mine had H&R springs, rode in those. His car, I believe, had 110,000 miles, rode like crap. He ended up getting rid of those for these coilovers, which is kind of funny, but they just rode like absolute garbage. Now that could have been due to poor struts at that mileage. It could, there's a lot of factors, but another good thing about coilovers are once you install them, obviously you get a new strut and shock system. So it replaces that, which honestly on a lot of these cars at this point are higher mileage and should probably be replaced anyways. Also with a lowering spring, you don't get that adjustability factor in terms of ride height. What you get is what you get. And I've also seen, uh, I don't know if it's specific for S4s or not, but on S4s, 
whenever you're on lowering springs, the back tends to sit like this, like a squatted truck, which unless that's the aesthetic you're going for, I don't think it's all too uh, good looking. And these coilovers are only a couple hundred more dollars over lowering springs. And I could easily justify that cost. What's going on guys? Uh, sorry for the abrupt change of scenery. It is now nighttime. Well, seven o'clock. Um, I'm getting on the highway, so we're gonna see how it does on the highway, the coilovers, and then I will get off the highway and let you know how they do in the city. So on the highway, I mean, there's honestly no complaints. It feels like you're on a cloud. Uh, the coilovers take bumps like a champ. I mean, you don't really feel them. Uh, there's no weird noises or rattles or vibrations or anything at higher speeds. Um, you cruise 75, 80, no problem. So yeah, that just about sums it up on the highway. I'll head into the city and let you guys know how the coilovers handle potholes and cracks in the road and all the crazy stuff that a Northeast Ohio city has to offer. So we have just taken an exit and we are entering the city. A few potholes right here, see how they handle. <clears throat> Another bump right there. Takes it like a champ, you don't even feel them to be honest. So the road that we were just on was a main street, so it was freshly paved actually. Uh, the road we're on now has a bunch of bumps, uh, more like craters or manholes if you ask me, but we'll see how the car does over these. So far so good. Not really anything crazy to expect. Especially not from a lowered car, it uh, is riding very well. These coilovers are very practical. Um, they're not overly stiff, especially on these bumpy roads like I'm on now. You don't want a coilover that's gonna throw you all crazy in your seat, especially in your daily driver. These do a great job of uh, finding a middle ground between performance, aesthetic, and comfortability. Here's a very big bump. Let's see how it handles this. Not too bad. These are giant ones. Now in a lowered car, uh, you do have to be kind of cautious. You don't want to rip your front bumper off or if you have a splitter. You could definitely use these coilovers in your daily driver. I mean, I do and I have no complaints with them, honestly. They ride great. They perform great, and I was I was able to obtain that ride height that I really wanted. I feel that these are a great OEM Plus modification, and at $500 for the set, they're very hard to beat. You'll be hard pressed to even find a set of coilovers or lowering springs that will outperform these, especially at this price point. I feel that these are the best bang for your buck that you can get on the market. I honestly wish they uh, made these for my Fox body that I have. That car's on super sport lowering springs and honestly, it rides horrible. Like it is the stiffest ride, it's the most uncomfortable ride. When you hit a bump, you know you hit a bump in that car. This, this is the complete opposite. It is a nice riding vehicle. I would honestly recommend these coilovers to just about anybody. Like I said, for the price point, they are hard to beat. You cannot beat these. Like I, Until show, someone shows me a product for cheaper that does better, these are unbeatable. Now in the end, I do recommend these coilovers. I will be purchasing more in the future for whatever projects may come across. You'll likely see them on this channel. I've had these in all sorts of situations and scenarios, all types of climates, all types of roads. And whether you're cruising to work and you're going through the city on some bumpy roads or you're tearing up some back roads with your buddies, I feel these coilovers do it all. Like they're the complete package. At this price point, it is very hard to go against them or find a better bang for your buck because I really don't think there is a better bang for your buck, especially in terms of budget suspension. Now, depending on your end goal with the coilovers or what their main purpose is, like say you want style on your daily driver, these are your go-to. But if you're building a dedicated track car for say road course or autocross and you, you're pretty competitive about it, I would spend the money and get some adjustable coilovers just so you can get the tunability that you need. In just about any other instance other than 
competitive racing, I would highly recommend these coilovers. I mean, they might even be good in that setting as well, but it's probably worth it to get the tunability up. But other than that, these are great coilovers. I recommend them to everyone. If you enjoyed the video or this helped, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I post automotive content three times a week. Uh, I have plenty of cool reviews on the way, um, DIYs. If it's automotive, I'm doing it. We're here to have fun. I appreciate you guys. I enjoy the support and have a good one. Thank you.